Should we start with Reese Robson, Scope? Josh has asked for it. Um, and when the listeners text in, we sort of have to, we're obliged to, to give them what they want. So Reese Robson is heading to the Roost. It's official. Um, New South Wales State of Origin hooker Reese Robson will join the Sydney Roosters on a four year deal from 2026 after informing the North Queensland Cowboys he will depart at the end of the season. That was Michael Chambers who broke that story in the Sydney Morning uh, Herald. There's a big, big knock on effect though. What does it mean for the, the future of the cheese? The cheese. Scoping? What was your what was your sort of overall opinion on the uh, on the signing itself? I love Robson. I mm-hmm. think he's a great signing. So for whoever whoever got him, the Roosters, um, they've look, been looking for a big name signing now for a while. They've lost uh, a lot of uh, NRL games, in, close to a thousand, you'd think, with mm-hmm. with Hargraves. Uh, Kiri, yep. Joseph Manu, and even Joseph Swali. He showed some real promise for the last couple of years there at the Roosters as well. So uh, Satili Tupanua, he's going over to the Bulldogs. That's true, yeah. Um, so it's a great signing for the Roosters. I love him. I've been a, I've been a huge uh, Reese Robson f- fan for the last couple of years. I thought, you know, he just goes about it the right way. He's uh, he does all the tough stuff. He's he's one of those guys. Is in the modern day, you got to be in modern game. You got to be a, a little bit versatile as well. Yep. He's a, he's the sort of guy. He's like a, a Cam McInnes, a bit yeah. like bit like Cheese as well. Where you you know like, I think Reese Robson um, is probably a better uh, nine distributor than probably a guy like Cheese. But you could play Reese Robson at lock as well. Yeah, definitely. Like in, in a pinch, there's been times where obviously they play Jakey Granville up there in North Queensland, and Reese Robson floats around. So now, if we're looking at the Roosters moving forward. Uh, they obviously love what Connor Watson did last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the chat has been around cheese in the last what twelve months, you'd yep. say. Yeah, um, it, go, it goes it goes back a lot further than when he so he injured himself in round twenty six and that lost to the Raiders. So he's he's going to have to deal with an ACL injury on the way with all this noise going on um, in the background. It's been floated. There's a chance for him to um, to head back to the Cowboys. Can we can we get some of this audio from? Um, the great Michael Carianis. So he was uh, he was speaking about the cheese um, and his future at the Roosters when he joined uh, Breakfast with Jimmy Smith and had this to say about Brandon Smith and potentially what position he could play. Let's not assume. He's out. He's gone. They took a bit of a risk in terms of, of signing Brandon just because of his personality, right? And yeah. there's been some minor stuff off the field uh, yep. uh, as well. And he, and he hasn't been able to replicate the football that he was, he, he was able to play at Melbourne. And fundamentally, I don't think he's a dummy half. I think he played his best footy when he was playing 13. Uh, like if I'm if I'm looking at a club for for Brandon Smith heading into next season and beyond, I'm happy to sign him as a 13 as a guy that can play number nine, uh, particularly the way that that the way number 13s play at the moment. But yeah, I just don't think he was the guy to run aside out, out of dummy half, and they've got a guy who can absolutely do. That. So he's on assuming that he's. Not going to be there. He's saying he's definitely going to be elsewhere. Maybe not, or can't be next year, can it? It'll be, the, be 2026 when Robson um, does arrive. Quick text here from uh, 045. Wayne's got cheese coming. That'd be Wayne, going next door? Going to the Bunnies? Uh, Close. Just down the road. Well, Wayne was a part of the sweepstakes for the cheese when he w- had become available at Melbourne. He went up and uh, did a tour of the Dolphins. I think he said he was playing the pokies, wasn't it? You remember that footage? That's right. When yeah, they caught did. him outside, and he's going, oh, I'm just playing the pokies. What's going on? Um, he's that a, he's statement, a, there would have been, that would have been about 60% truth or 30% truth. He probably would have had a slap on the way out yeah. Yeah, after the meeting. Yeah. Um, I love cheese. He's a real character. One part I disagree with Karianis, um, about in that little bit of audio, I think cheese is a nine. I mm-hmm. do think he's a nine, but in saying that, you do also have to have cover. Like, I think in the modern day game, if you've got a guy like Cheese, um, you know, like, we're not going to have the expectations of the guy that he followed in, in Cameron Smith. Like, he's never going to be the Cameron Smith nine um, that he, he sort of was, uh, did it under, understudy under at the mm-hmm. Melbourne Storm. But um, I think he's a nine with the ability to play lock and even front row like he did at Melbourne. Um, now, if you do have him as your starting nine, you've definitely got to have backup. He's not an eighty-minute player. Mm. Uh, he just goes. He goes too hard for you know. He's the guy. He, he's the sort of guy that empties the tank. So um, you've you've got to be if you are in the in the looking at a guy like Brandon Smith, and you've got to have maybe smaller body, one of those little sort of impact hookers that can come off the bench and, and give you forty minutes. That's why I feel you know. I feel like him and Connor Watson were starting to get into a bit of a rhythm. Mm. Um, It didn't start well by no means at the Roosters, but he was starting to get a bit of rhythm at the end there. And um, 
yeah, from everything that's been reported, and, and Karyanis is, sounds pretty confident there that um, he's hearing the same rumblings that uh, Chase definitely won't be at the Roosters in 2026 by the sounds yeah. of it. And I wouldn't be surprised. You know what they're like. You know how they can be, the Roosters. And, and when you, when you hear um, rumblings like this, it wouldn't surprise me if it happens earlier, if the right if the right club come in, maybe for the right price, maybe extend. That stuff happens in rugby league. So um, it's uh, it'll be a wait and see. And I think it'll de- it'll be determined by his uh, rehabilitation on his knee next year so that, and, and where he's at. So that leads me to almost a next question or, or point around the cheese. A lot of the focus was on his fitness and he, he would he would run out at 150 miles an hour um, and after 20 minutes he's blowing a gasket. He's now got to come back from an ACL. Oh, you've never done a have you done no, ACL? No, no, I've never done a... You, you would know what the... So the rehab, I'm presuming he's not doing a lot of like aerobic stuff coming back from an ACL. It, that almost puts him back you know, two or three steps um, from where he already was, having that sort of lowish fitness base. So he's yeah. got a lot of work to do, doesn't he? Yeah, like the re- the the rehabilitation is so much better than even when I was playing. They've got the, that weight bearing treadmill and 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 that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of them do um, rehab in the pool and run in the pool, like the the motion to get it going. Um, you can pick it up. The, I've always people that have had those sort of long term injuries, whether it be like six to nine months ACLs, Achilles. Uh, everyone that I spoke to said it normally takes you about you you, you can recover and the and you you heal within six to nine months, but you don't really feel yourself until eighteen months, sometimes twenty four. So you don't get the best version of yourself. Uh, so I was lucky enough to have I never had any any serious injuries. But Cheese is at a, a good age. Mm. Um, what is he? He'd be about 25, 26, you reckon? Yep. Yeah, I was He'd be say around there, mid 20s. So yep. it's not like he's a 30 year old. 28, the tourist. Is, is he 28? Jeez. Oh, well, he must have been a, a bit more of a late bloomer than I anticipated there at Melbourne. But uh, yeah, he'll be, yeah, well, that, that will make it very interesting because, like I said, going back to the, the rumblings that you're hearing, I, I dare say that maybe there's communication mm. um, about him potentially moving on and, and, and if so then you've got to take that in, into consideration you've got to factor that in right if you're going to get a guy like Cheese yep. 28 coming off an ACL um, is, he, is he probably not going to be an 80 minute uh, hooker for you a couple of teams that do stand out uh, I, I think a guy like Wayne Bennett would be great for a guy like Cheese and uh I know he's I know he's got a good relationship with Jason Rolls as well from from the Melbourne days. So maybe that that could be something to watch, well, Eels, something Eels to Mars, monitor. Eels Mars, no shocks. He's chimed in with he thinks he'd be a good fit at the uh, at the Parramatta Reel. So it's a real position to need for for it Parramatta. Is, yeah, yeah, they haven't been able to fix it since Reed Marnie left. Uh, this is I like this one, and I don't mind this take. If 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 the cheese was to remain at the Roosters moving forward, um, Josh would love to keep him on a reduced price as a middle forward. Can't see it happening, though. Um, mm. Agreed. I think there is a world where that could work as a rotation with all three of Connor Watson, Reese Robson, and Cheese as like a hybrid player. But, um, yeah, I, th- I think it's it's maybe too far gone.